Price next lent his vocal talent to a pair of animated kids projects, the first of which was a Saturday morning cartoon called The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. In it, Scooby and Shaggy are tricked by a pair of ghosts named Weird and Bogle into opening a sealed magical chest, which releases 13 ancient ghosts. The gang must track down and capture these escaped spooks. They are assisted in their quest by a warlock named Vincent Van Gool, voiced by Price. The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo was a half-hour program that debuted on September 7, 1985 and ran for one season, although it did see more play in reruns and syndication. This series was interesting in that the gang hunted real ghosts instead of criminals in disguises. It's also interesting because original mystery gang members Fred and Velma were nowhere to be seen in this series. In their place were the annoying Scrappy-Doo and a kid named Flim Flam. The show was canceled after just one season, at which point only 11 of the 13 escaped ghosts had been recaptured. Price was definitely the high point in what was ultimately not one of the better Scooby-Doo series. Trouble soon will be about... What was that? Next up, Price again lent his recognizable voice to an animated feature, this time for Walt Disney Studios with The Great Mouse Detective. The story follows the character of Basil of Baker Street, played by Barry Ingram, a famed mouse detective who lives on Baker Street beneath the home of Sherlock Holmes. Basil is hired to solve a kidnapping case. It turns out a famous toy maker named Hiram was kidnapped by a peg-legged bat named Fidget, who is the minion of the villainous Professor Radigan, played by Vincent Price. Radigan plans to force Hiram to build a robot that looks just like the Queen so he can replace her and become ruler of Mousedom. It's up to Basil and his assistant, Dr. Dawson, to stop him. Radigan meets his end in this one by falling to his death from the Big Ben clock in London, making this another of the many films in which Price's character meets a violent end. The Great Mouse Detective hit the big screens on July 2nd, 1986. It was based on a kid's book called Basil of Baker Street by Eve Titus. The film was both a critical and box office success, with much of the praise aimed Vincent and Radigan's way. Price was exquisite as the ruthless Radigan, and thus the villain steals the show in this one. Price claimed this was one of his favorite roles, and it shows in his performance. He is charming and energetic and even gets the chance to sing two songs, The World's Greatest Criminal and Goodbye So Soon. But now that I'm at it again, an even grimmer plot has been simmering in my great criminal brain. Next up for Price is back to horror movies with a pair of 80s horror anthology films. <laughs> 